Well, I want to share with you guys a critical skill you're going to need throughout this year, and that's to be able to save your files to your Google Drive rather than the documents folder on your computer that you're on. By saving it to Google Drive, that will allow you to access that file from any computer, access it from home, and always Google Drive doesn't show up when you go to save something like from Inventor. So let me illustrate how that works here. So if you notice here, I have Autodesk Inventor pulled up. I'm gonna open one of my part files here just so we can see how we might save it. So here I have, I've completed my part. I wanna save it, but I don't wanna save it to Documents. I wanna save it to Google Drive. So I go up to File, Save As, and most of the time when you do yours, you're going to see it in the documents folder here. If you save it to documents, that file will only reside on that computer and nowhere else. You can't access it from any other computer. If you click on the arrow next to documents and look down the list, you probably will not see Google Drive right away. So what you have to do is if you don't see Google Drive, you cancel the save. You come over to the Windows button, click on Windows, scroll down until you see the Google Drive app. Now this is not access to Google Drive. This is an app that connects you to Google Drive through any of the software that you're using on the computer. For some reason, this connection is often broken and you have to go do it more than once, sometimes every day, sometimes every week especially when there's a Windows update, that Google Drive connection is broken. So to get that connection back, you will click on Google Drive. And it may ask you some questions. Mine's already running, as it says here. So in, in your case, it may ask you to sign in again. And you click keep clicking on the buttons and signing in until you get a screen that says Google Drive is now connected. Once Google Drive is connected to your software, then you can go back to File, Save As, and now you can pull down from Documents, you can pull down and find Google Drive. Now you can't save stuff directly in Google Drive. You have to double click on My Drive. You can save it anywhere in My Drive, but it's recommended you actually save it in the class folder that you're working in. So you should see a folder named Classroom. And in that classroom folder, it has self-populated every class you've ever been enrolled in, apparently. And if you scroll down, you should find one that says Engineering 1, and you'll find the period that you're taking at first, second, or fifth, or sixth, right? So if you don't see an Engineering 1 folder, you can create a new folder by clicking on Create New Folder. And then you can name that folder whatever you wish, like you could name it Engineering and then you could hit enter, and then that would be a new folder in which you could save stuff. I'm gonna cancel that. I'll just delete my new folder because I don't need it right now. So you're gonna go to whatever, like in Engineering 1 here, you're gonna go and double click on Engineering 1. And then once you're in Engineering 1, then you can give your part a name, and I would recommend you don't save it by the default name, like Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 because you're gonna end up creating dozens of these parts throughout the year, and you need to know how to go back and find them to create assemblies and to create drawings. So give it some descriptive name. I recommend the assignment number like A108 and then part one, or some other creative name like the title of the lesson that we're doing. That way you'll always find your work, and by saving it, taking the time to saving it in Google Drive, you will have access to that file even if that computer crashes or if you working have to move to another computer or you're working from home, you will have access to it. So be aware that you may have to do this set up for Google Drive throughout the year. So when you do a file save as, if you don't see Google Drive as an option, run the Google Drive app in the Windows button and you should have that connection restored. Good luck.